Da Vinci Resolve, the Hollywood powerhouse, or Filmora, the smart and simple favorite. Two big editing names, one big question. Which one really delivers? On the left, Da Vinci Resolve, the industry's color grading legend. On the right, Filmora, your go-to for creative, beginner-friendly edits. Let's skip the marketing talk and get straight to what actually matters. Each round scores points, so at the end, you'll see exactly who tops the chart for 2025. The winner might just surprise you. All right, before we start chopping up scenes and throwing on transitions, here's a quick mind map of the stuff we're actually comparing. So, we've got Price and plans, features and capabilities, ease of use, effects and templates, performance, platform support, and finally, who they're best for. That's a lot, but I promise I'll keep it chill. Let's kick off with price and plans. DaVinci Resolve kind of spoils you here. You get this insane pro software literally for free, and you can export 4K without the usual drama. If you want all the cinematic goodies like 8K support and some wild collaboration stuff, there's a one-time studio upgrade. Catch is, you do need a pretty powerful rig to really unlock all the magic. Now, Filmora, super friendly. It's like, hey, want to pay monthly or just once? You can choose a subscription or a one-time license. There's a free plan too, but heads up, Watermark City. Some extra effects and plugins cost more, but overall, it's definitely easier on your wallet. So for most folks just looking to get started, Filmora nabs it here. Next up. Features and Capabilities DaVinci Resolve is the feature monster. You get best-in-class color grading, full-on fusion for VFX and motion graphics, fair light for sick audio edits, plus all this AI stuff like Magic Mask and Set Extender. Multicam? Dialogue matching? Yup. Honestly, it's the whole Hollywood package. Unless you're totally new, because, uh, it's not beginner-friendly. Now, Filmora packs some neat tricks, too. Its AI smart cutout and reframe are actually useful. Plus, it can denoise audio and even enhance voices. Motion tracking? Green screen? It's got those, but they don't go nearly as deep. You get tons of drag and drop effects, which is perfect if you don't want to overthink. But on pure power and pro magic, DaVinci takes this round. Ease of use. This is where things flip, right? DaVinci Resolve has this very modern, very pro interface. Seriously, imagine mission control. But man, that learning curve. If you're new to editing, you might be screaming into your keyboard for a while. Now, Filmora, it's pretty much the definition of friendly. The UI is super clear. Workflows are instant. You just drag, drop, swipe, done. If you're a beginner or making quick edits, absolute breeze. If you want cinema magic, eh, maybe not. But for pure usability, Filmora's the winner here. Oh, and here's something cool. Did you know DaVinci Resolve is literally used on Hollywood blockbusters? Yep, but Filmora lets everyday users edit viral TikToks in like minutes. That's wild. Let's talk effects and templates. So with DaVinci, you get crazy customization, advanced effects, and motion graphics. Super pro stuff, but yikes, DIY vibes. Templates aren't really their thing unless you bring your own or grab some plugins. Filmora, though, goes all out. There are hundreds of templates, transitions, stock assets, even a royalty-free music library built in. It's all there, ready to click and use. Sure, you can't go super custom, but for most quick projects, Filmora makes it fun and easy. Winner's clear, right? performance. Here's where DaVinci flexes hard. If your computer's up for it, you can edit 8K footage in real time, no sweat. And the whole app is basically built for demanding tasks. But yeah, you do need that beefy PC. Otherwise, it's a bit like putting racing tires on a bicycle. Filmora, meanwhile, runs smooth on regular hardware. Even exporting HD or 4K video is fast. You can even do some mobile editing, but huh. if you try and push it with massive pro-level projects, it might get sketchy, maybe a crash or two. So the win goes to DaVinci here, if you've got the gear to keep up. Platform support. So DaVinci's everywhere, Windows, Mac, Linux, you name it, as long as it's desktop. But yeah, don't look for a mobile app. Filmora is a bit more flexible. It's cross-platform on desktop, and you can edit right on your phone, iOS or Android. Some desktop features are missing on mobile, that's life, but it does mean you can throw together edits in the backseat of an Uber. For pure flexibility, either works, depending on what you need, so I'm going to call this one a tie. And finally, let's talk who it's best for. 
DaVinci is what the pros use. Filmmakers, videographers, big teams, folks sending stuff to festivals or TV networks. Honestly, if you're just making TikToks, it's overkill. Filmora, on the other hand, is absolutely made for beginners, teachers, anyone whipping up vlogs or social content. Quick edits, personal projects, super easy. But yeah, if you want to scale up to big pipelines, Filmora taps out pretty fast. So it's really down to your goals. Both win, just in totally different universes. Now, if you're a visual person, here's both DaVinci Resolve and Filmora side by side on a radar chart. You can totally see where one spikes ahead of the other. Some serious pros, some clear wins for casual creators. So, where's my head at? If you live and breathe film, want the deepest color grading in the game, and crave all the advanced pro features, grab DaVinci Resolve. But if you want quick, creative edits, templates for days, and something friendly you can use on your phone, super obvious, go with Filmora. Both are epic, just totally different vibes. All right, pick your editing style, guys. Try them out. Don't lock in until you vibe with one. Oh, and subscribe if you want to stay in the creative loop. I'll keep these comparisons coming.